I'm doing a repair on this little twist here, which is a little um, ply that has plied back yes. on itself That's the word. Um, during the spinning process of this yarn. So half of the yarn has doubled up on itself and the other half is laying here straight. And the same mend that I'm going to do right now would apply for if you had a knot um, in your thread, in your weft thread here, or if there was a little break in the thread, you can use this same mend to fix all those things. So what's going to happen is I have a replacement yarn that's the same color, and this is a weft thread, so I'm just going to be weaving this, this replacement thread into the same position and I'll go back about an inch and I have a tapestry needle here that has a blunt point so that I'm not going through the yarns I'm just going over and under them and I'm just following the path of this thread there it's about as far as it needs to go on that side and then I'm going to continue on putting my replacement thread into here on this side. And this thread is going to be held into place um, by ironing uh, the fabric afterwards, steam ironing it is going to set um, this replacement thread so that it uh, it stays in place once we're all done here. Alright, so I have my new thread in place and uh, with this new thread in place I can now cut this little ply out. Oh, I don't see it anymore. And I'm going to cut that at the cloth, and I'm going to cut that at the cloth, and there we go. Now there's another tiny little one here. I'm noticing with our cotton, so it's a cotton linen blend, that we're starting to see more of these um, inconsistencies with our yarn. It's not going to actually affect the structure of the weave, but you could catch it on something. So if it's really bothering you, um, you can cut, you can put your replacement thread in and um, and then cut that piece out. Another option here is just to weave it back into place by weaving your tapestry needle in to follow follow the length of that thread. And once you've gone in a little ways, I'm just going to stick this plied bit through the needle here and I'm just going to pull it into the weave like that and now it's been woven back in and that's another way to fix that if you have a little piece of plied thread that's sticking out. So the same technique can be used for knots or uh, any slub if you want, if it's inconsistent and you don't like it. Put your replacement thread in and cut it out and you're good to go. Okay, so this is a little slub. It could be a knot. And I'm just tracing it back about an inch. And I'm starting to follow the thread. 